There are quite a number of global mounting options available. So far we've seen plugins, but there are a few more I'm going to introduce at some point. One is going to be stubs, which means you can stub a component. Another is going to be directives, which is where you provide custom directives. And another would be mocks, which allows you to mock things on the global view instance. The one I'd like to talk about, however, is going to prov provide, and this is part of Vue's dependency injection system. You can use provide and inject to create and pass a global instance to any component. And we're going to see how you can do that now by using uh, this example. And instead we're going to use provide and inject instead of the use store composable hook to provide the store to our application. Let's say we weren't using Vuex, however, we would be using our own internal store implementation and we might want to use provide and inject for that. I'm going to show you how you can do that. The first thing I'm going to do is head over to my app component and we're going to change this. Instead of getting the store by the use store hook, we're going to use inject. So I'm going to jump up here and import inject. Now we're going to replace this and we're going to say inject store. And this is going to now find the closest provided instance of store and make it available to this component. If you haven't seen provide and inject before, go and check out the documentation. It's not too complex, however, this video is not about how provide and inject work, but how you can use them with view test utils. If we go ahead now and head back to our test, let's go and see what happens. Everything is going to pass still, and that's because internally, Vuex is using provide and inject on store either way. What I'm going to do is change this and put provide in here, and we're going to make this an empty array, so we're no longer providing the store to the component. If we save this off, everything is going to fail, and that's because the store is not available. What we can do in here is provide a key value pair. We're going to provide store by passing in store. And if we save this one off, everything is now going to pass. And this is exactly how provide and inject work. You can use provide and pass in a key and a value. In this case, the key is store and the value is going to be the store. Then inside of the component, when you call inject, it's going to find the nearest place that a store was provided. Traditionally, you would do this in main.js. So for example, if I head over to main.js now, you would have const app which is equal to create app. And then you do something like app.mount. And inside of here, you do something like app.provide. You would pass in store and then pass in the store here. And this is doing the same thing by using the global mounting option. Let's head back to the test and see what else we can do with this. So if I head back to the test, we can see one of the very powerful things about this is we can use it to mock things or to create a fake store. For example, in a very large application, you might have a very complex store and you don't want to create a new instance of it. Rather, you just like to provide a very small snapshot of the store for a very particular test. In this case, we can do this. Let's go ahead and create a state in here. And this might have the count, which would be zero. And then we're going to go ahead and create a commit function, which is just an empty function. And if we save this one off, everything is still going to run. The test is, of course, going to fail because state is always going to have a count of zero and we're not incrementing it. So let's go ahead and create our own little reactive store and see how we might do this. The first thing I'm going to do is import reactive from Vue, and this is how we're going to create our reactive state. And this is actually how Vuex works internally as well. I'm going to jump down here and now delete this store, and instead I'm going to create a reactive state. And that's just going to have a count of zero in this particular case. We're then going to need to have some way to update that. So what I'm going to do is jump down here and just pass in the state, and commit is going to do something different. What it's going to do is going to call an uh, increment mutation. So let's go ahead and jump inside of here. I'm just going to hard code this for now. So whenever we call commit, it's going to increment the state dot count by one. And if we go ahead and save this one off now, everything is actually going to pass. And the reason this is passing, if we head over to the component, is we can see here we're calling store.commit. We're completely ignoring this handler here, but it doesn't matter because in our fake implementation, we're just calling state dot count plus equals one. And that's going to update the reactive state. I'm just showing you this as an example of how you can use provide to provide arbitrary values, in this case, a kind of fake store to our components. And we can see everything is now still passing. We're going to revisit this in the future and look at some other global mounting hooks. However, I think this is enough for now.